Hello, today I take you guys on a small little journey to the state of Arizona. Quite the uh, contrast to the weather out here right now. But uh, yeah, here you go. Our journey begins very early in the morning. We grab some Starbucks, then we head over to this bus to take us over to Seattle's airport because that's where our flight was. And after about three or four-ish hours, we arrived in downtown Seattle. There's the, uh, the Space Needle. And eventually ended up in the airport. So it was, I guess, around noon at this time, but our flight was actually later in the evening. So uh, we kind of had to chill there for a while. But eventually, at around um, the sunset, we were able to get in and we got on the flight towards Arizona. Am I in it? What? What are you doing to my shot? Am I gonna get in your YouTube video? Yeah. Two and a half towards three hours later, uh, we finally ended up over Phoenix, Arizona. So we headed out, grabbed some dinner, and uh, headed to my aunt's house where I got to hang out with the boys. High five, not with your tongue. Yes, yes, high five. There, he's high fiving. Okay, other hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Good job, buddy. Good job. The next morning, my family went out to a mall, so uh, I ended up staying at home babysitting. Good morning. I'm out here chilling with the dogs. I'm gonna leave later to head to our, uh, to head to our destination. But uh, for now, I'm just babysitting. What are you looking at? It's been like an hour and they're just chilling by the door. It looks so sad. They're waiting for everyone else to return. Hello. Why do you look so sad? What you doing, buddy? And later that day, we were off uh, towards the northern part of Arizona. So the drive took at least four-ish hours just to get up there. But as the sun was setting, we came across this place called the Horseshoe Bend. Um, it was close to our hotel. The Horseshoe Bend, it got its name from the water being in the shape of a horseshoe. Now the sunset, while it looked nice, uh, it, it kind of disrupted my shot. Even as I waited until the sun set, it, I just really couldn't get a shot. But here's a picture my mom took, which looks a lot nicer. After eating some Mexican food, we ended up at the hotel. and went to sleep right away because I was very tired. Early the next morning, after probably a 10 minute drive from the hotel, we ended up at the Canyon Tour site. After going down some very steep stairs, uh, I looked around and uh, I was honestly amazed at what I saw. one of the coolest things that I've ever seen in person. What's interesting is that depending on the time of the day, certain areas in the canyon will be a lot brighter, which is why walking through here, as you can see, it is a little bit dark.
According to their website, the Antelope Canyon gets its name from local Navajo stories. So the Navajo being the Native American people that um, that live and occupy this area. Regarding antelopes that grazed along the canyon in the winter time. And yeah, that was kind of just it. Um, didn't stay there for too long, but uh, definitely was a lot of traveling, which I didn't really mind, because honestly, those canyons were very, very cool to look at. And honestly, I do think that this canyon was a lot cooler than the Grand Canyon, which everybody knows about, simply because, I mean, it's quite cool to really walk in between the canyons um, versus just looking down. To everyone who made this possible, thank you. That's it, bye-bye. Thank you.